Guess who's back? Guess who it is? This guy. Bobby, unmiked lunatic. Not properly representing Die Armory's merchandise. Good. I'm well, actually, you know I'm not we gonna are, get. We are affiliate, not affiliated officially, but we are. Um, we're affiliated with their uh, merch company. We are affiliated officially. with this merch company, so I'm not off yeah. brand. That's true. Um, I would like to start this show by saying my stomach is jacked up. <laughs> so if I run off camera, um, it's so I can diarrhea my brains out. <laughs> this is going in the intro. Would you rather me diarrhea here? On camera, yeah, more views. Right. YouTuber has explosive diarrhea <laughs> on camera. <laughs> All right, welcome back. And we're back. Explosive diarrhea. I'm not super symmetrical. Are we sponsored by Can Rowdy? You over that way? Um, no, we're not sponsored by anybody. Uh, it's in the works. Um, how would you like our content to be so branded with logos? Almost like you couldn't even watch the video. It's just logos on the screen the whole time. At least we're getting paid. Yeah. You don't need to see anything. Yeah, Ty. All right, what are we doing here? Okay. So I want to go over what everybody's like, what is Die Armory? I'm being let go. It's not you. <laughs> it's not me. It's you. <laughs> well, I knew that. Um, Just no. so you know, one of these is mine up here, okay? <laughs> I own 50% of that gun wall. It's like two guns on it. Um, okay, I'll, yes. Everybody asks me, what is Dyer Armory? Yeah, so what I want to do is do just a mission statement video on what okay, Dyer Armory is. This is a mission statement video yes. on what Dyer Armory is. You have all the answers. Okay. Let me ask you, how did Dire Armory start? Dire Armory started, well, let me do an intro and Fine. then let's do this. Oh, I thought that whole five minute bit about ads and poop was our intro. <laughs> it can be. I'm okay with that. We're casual here. All right, whatever, no intro. We'll do it live. Do it live. We'll do it live. All right, so basically, what we're gonna do is talk about, everybody always asks, what is Dyer Armory, right? Oh, well, what is that? Are you guys a gun store? Are you guys, you guys post cool videos? Are you like wannabe gun tubers? Um, are you just like hype beast company trying to sell stickers? I get that one yeah, a lot. all of it. Why Pe not no, all of it? People, dude. Okay, not that one. I get dragged online all the time and they're like, Look at this nerd, just some wannabe hype beast company that's just trying to sell everybody t-shirts. Every time I like post in a Facebook group, they're like, yeah, I went to your channel. You're just trying to like get us to go to your channel to buy, pawn off buying like a t-shirt. And I'm like, that's not what Die Armory does. And they're like, yeah, right. I'm like, okay. Also, why does that matter? I don't know, people hate it. We can do whatever we want. People right? hate it. If I post, like when I post a video of like a CMMG or something like that, people are like, oh, he's a shill. He's shilling. He's a shill? I know. Okay. It's stupid. But anyways. Thanks for the engagement anyway. Yeah. You're thanks wrong. For the, thanks for the comment. Um, <clears throat> so basically, Dyer Armory is a multifaceted Second Amendment media conglomerate. We do. Hang on. Let me Google conglomerate real quick. No, you don't need to Google it. <laughs> you need to trust me that I have a widely extensive vocabulary. Hang on. That's actually not true. Let me Google. I learned. I looked up extensive. how to spell commission the other day because I couldn't remember if it was one M's or two M's. <laughs> okay, a number of different things are parts that are put or grouped together to form a whole but remain distinct entities. Yeah. Jeez, I hit the nail on the head because... Your vocabulary <laughs> is pretty... Uh, what'd you say? What's the word you said? <laughs> extensive. That's, extensive. Not, that's a normal word. Yeah, that's a normal word. <laughs> <laughs> but basically what it is is... Let's go back to the roots of how Dyer Armory started and, and where it's kind of <laughs> going. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. Um, where it's Just going. It. <laughs> where it's going and what we're doing. Um, thank you. Um, I'm off topic. So, um, first off, Dyer Armory started just with me um, wanting to just build guns. I enjoy building AR 15s. Um, I realized early on that there were things in the market that 
weren't really being offered at the time. It's a little different now. Um, you know, there's gun parts everywhere and, and people are, the building community is, is huge now. Um, most people are just building their own ARs or at least sourcing and piecing different things together. Even if they buy a complete rifle, they completely take it all apart and buy all new parts for the same rifle. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's, but th at the time it wasn't as widespread. So um, I wanted something very specific. I built that um, with the help of my friend Matt, who you guys have seen. He goes to Range Day with us. He's, um, he, he's in videos. He's done a lot of stuff with us. Um, we sat in the garage and we did it, and then we did it again, and then we kept doing it, and we just built some really cool guns. And it, my wife is a photographer. She was taking cool pictures of it. Um, Matt was like, dude, you need to have like an Instagram for this stuff. You know, it's really cool. Um, and I wanted to get to the point where I was just building rifles for people. Like that's, that's what I wanted to do. I didn't have any really aspirations of like having my own brand parts or anything like that. Hence the sweater. Yes. Yeah. That's where this actually came from. Um, this is a first design ever. Um, so and and it was a huge success. It's been the most popular design. To, we, like, we shill this regularly. Yes. We shill, we shill our own products. Um, so anyways, we just wanted to make sure that we took um, everything that we are wanting to do um, and kind of put it into one um, conglomerate, I guess is it still right, the best I, word. And I started in video production and that's where, I guess it was like two, yeah, so two go three ahead, years go later. Talk about that. I had been doing production for probably 12 years and of course I like guns, so it just made sense. Yeah, we'll talk about, so another thing a lot of people confuse about is, is Rowan Films and the relationship between Rowan Dot Armour and Rowan Films. Rowan Films was my video production company. It still is. Um, we just joined forces and you used all of my equipment and my talent. <laughs> so that, that section is kind of Dire Armory now. Yeah. As the content creation side of Dire Armory. Yeah, correct. So it kind of seemed like um, we were hanging out anyways. We, we've been friends for a long time, even, even before Dire Armory. And it just kind of, like Bobby was like, well, why don't we do gun videos? And, and I didn't like, even know what a gun video was. Yeah. And it's it, like, we, we put a, a gun here and we get some cool shots of it. Let's, yeah. Let's do it. And, and some of those started doing really well. So, you know, well now we, we've had videos go pretty, I would say viral. Um, especially like the ones that were happening on TikTok and stuff. Yeah. But at the time, I mean, we would get like 40,000 views on one thing. Which was huge. It is huge. Yeah, we were like, we need to keep doing it. So we, it was almost for fun. So we just kept doing it, but with the intention of maybe taking this somewhere. Um, and it kind of developed into um, a branching out of all sorts of different things. Um, uh, we really heavily focused on the media production. We really heavily focused on the content creation because that's simply what we have going on right now. Yeah. Um, the things that we have planned for the future right now is we want, um, we want to get back into building. We want to, um, we had been approached by another pretty big channel about possibly doing a show revolved around building. Um, and that kind of really uh, stuck out to us as a really incredible idea. Um, so I really want to get back to building guns. So what we're going to be doing hopefully soon, soon as in could, could take a couple years, um, but we are launching our own store, storefront, yeah. revolved around building. It'll be unlike any other gun store. I don't want to go into too much detail about the business model, but just know that it's not your average gun store. And there's a lot of a lot of things that we want to do, and we'll get to it. Yeah. Uh, but right now, we're we have to make money. <laughs> we have to make money. We're a content creation company. Yeah. At the moment. Yeah. But there are all these other paths that we want to go. Yeah. Um, just like the definition says. Yeah. Um, separate entities. Yeah. Kind of the gun store. We want to range. We want to do some yeah. classes. Yeah. Uh, we want to continue this show, and for the for the next few months. What is Dire Armory going to look like? For the next few months, we are hammering out the YouTube channel. We're going to get get more regular content going for you guys. Our, our high quality content is, is few and far between because um, we're relying on certain things like going to getting to the range, um, you know, taking 
taking the time to actually go do it and, and edit and do all the stuff. Um, and two, another thing too I want to point out is a lot of people don't realize um, the term content creator is kind of muddied these days. Yeah. Everybody's a Everybody's like, oh, I'm a content creator, and they take <laughs> selfies or like twerk on TikTok. Which, yes, we are creating that kind of content. We are twerking with our rifle. <laughs> um, but before we, we do all that, like all that's important to get attention to the little social media platforms and stuff, but we yeah. want to make high-end gun content. Yeah. And there's not a lot of people doing it. Yeah. Um, so, because there's not a lot of people that are talented that mm -hmm. have the video production equipment yep. or the guns. Yep. Um, we have the guns, we have the video production equipment, the talent, yep. and now we just need time yeah. to do more. Yeah, and two, and, and a lot of people are confused about like a lot of these, um, like I guess you'd say gun tubers, like what they do is they'll actually try to leverage their reach. So they'll say, hey, I reach you know, 100,000 people or whatever it is, and this is how much I reach monthly. Can you send me some stuff and then I'll review it on my channel? That's typically how those guys work. They don't make a, a lot of money. They don't, um, typically they have full-time jobs outside of it. Um, and what we've done is kind of shaken things up. And um, until, until now where we're really starting to push like our YouTube channel and create original content, we really don't create enough of our own content. Um, and the way Dire Armory has worked is we actually have media packages. So what Dire Armory does is takes a, a product from a company and we're not using it necessarily for our own content. We, although, we, although we can. Although we can and we do. Yeah. Like if, if we get a video and we're hired to do a video, of course we'll take that gun and do like a casual video for Dire Armory. But that's not, that wasn't really the goal. The right. goal is to provide a company with their own original content. So when people see Dire Armory, they're like, well, you guys don't have that many followers. You guys don't have this or that. It's like. So we're giving away the good stuff. We have <laughs> produced videos that you have probably seen Yes. There's a good chance that if you are researching gun stuff online and you are getting targeted by gun stuff on Facebook especially. Chances are we shot it. Chances are that we shot it. Either There's in this studio or your garage or my garage. Or wherever, <laughs> wherever it is. We ha we've had, I mean, there's one video that we had that was a sponsored ad that a big time company ran and had 27 million views. So are we allowed to say it? No. Okay. I wouldn't because <laughs> there are certain companies that may say not. It and then bleep it out. No. So I know which one you're talking about. We, we've worked with, what, like four or five so, very big names? Yeah, yeah. So so you're talking about all of them? They, none of them were as big <laughs> as that one. All right. So anyways, um, so the, the, the content is there, but those companies purchased that from us. So a lot of people don't get that. When I post in groups and stuff like that, they're like, oh, you're you're an affiliate of this company trying to sell for this company. It's like, no, this is my own original content that I created. And it's honest and unpaid for. It's honest and unpaid for. And it, it's because I received a product from this company, but we gave them, they purchased content from us for their media package. If you went to their website, you would see their video and it would have their logos on it and everything. And you can go to their website and buy it. And we don't see a dime from any of those sales or, or anything. Right. The only thing is when we take that product, we're like, cool, the video's done, the package is paid for, whatever, we take the gun, the, the product, the silence, or whatever it is, and we say, like, let's do something for ourselves with it. And we post a YouTube video, and it's fun, and we go to the range. And, and we have our original content. And we have our own original content. And so that's kind of how it works. A lot of people, I've been getting a lot of, like, actually angry messages from people <laughs> being like, you're shilling for this company. And it's like, we've turned down companies before. Yeah. I don't want to say the company, but a company came around the time we were filming for I keep wanting to say company names. We were filming for other companies. This company came in and you said, hey, what do you, what do you think about this, this company wants to buy a media package from us? I said, absolutely not. Because if anybody finds out. Let's say that, it. No, I don't, want, <laughs> I don't want to. Um, I don't want to get sued. I, I was like, I have no faith in the product. I don't believe in the product. And normally, even if it's a product I wouldn't use, it, we're at the end of the day, right now, what's paying the bills is, is media production. So it, it's hard to say no to business. But at the same time, if we're wanting to move into our own original content, we do have to draw, <laughs> draw the line somewhere yeah. and say, you know, we, we don't want our name affiliated with it, even if they're paying us for original content. So that's kind of the base of the media stuff that we've got going on. Um, but as of now, we're planning on growing our own channel and really, really stepping up our own original content. Um, this channel. This channel. This channel. This channel that you are watching right now. Um, 
and we'll we'll still continue to do media packages and stuff oh, yeah. like that. But um, that's gonna that's gonna grow into other things like the store. We have, you know, we own the rights to a coffee shop name that we want attached to the store. We have um, a shooting range where it, it won't really be a shooting range like what you're thinking, like show up, pay 15 bucks, sign a waiver, and, and just mag dump your... You know, it's going to be more involved for sure. Yeah. It'll be mostly used for us to create more content on. That's the primary focus of the range. It's going to be private, and then we'll be running classes out of it. Um, so it'll be more you, you buy a class, and that's where the class is hosted, not so much just show up whenever you want and, and shoot, um, which is the direction that I really want that to go. I really want to promote um, safe, effective training other than just, hey, I take out my, my safe queens every once in a while and, and mag dump 30 rounds through each one and then go home. Safe um, queens? Yeah, it's like a term. <laughs> I had to think about that. I've never heard that before. Yeah, it's a, it's a term. It's like you buy a nice rifle and you're like, oh, I don't want to scratch it. So you stick it in a safe and it's like... <laughs> Cool. Well, if you, if God forbid you ever had to use that in self defense, self defense situation, you're just dead. That's like this one for me. Thankfully, it's battle worn. It's wide, battle worn so already. <laughs> yeah. Well, we haven't really. Well, we've you've done some stuff with it. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. And it is like an EDC thing. Anyway. Is, yeah. Mine is like torn up. So, <laughs> what should people expect uh, going forward with this show, this channel, the yeah. channel that they're on right now, whatever platform that is. We're heavy on Instagram. We want to be bigger on YouTube. Yeah, that's what um, we're really focusing on. We are, when starting out, our biggest reach was Facebook. Yeah. Like we were reaching hundreds of thousands of people a month on Facebook. All organically. Yeah, all organic. Just people sharing, people doing whatever, people commenting. It's great. Um, the be if you want to support the channel, the best thing that you can possibly do is subscribe to YouTube, hit the notification bell, like, and comment. It's, I know it sounds like, it doesn't help that much. It takes seconds for you. Yeah, it, it literally it literally creates a ripple effect in the YouTube algorithm that it helps more than you know. Just clicking the like bucket, like button, and commenting. And that is why we're gonna try to go live. Mm -hmm. um, we're thinking two times a week right now. Yeah. Um, you want to tell them about Mondays or? Yeah. So the content schedule we're looking at now, um, while we're put really heavily pushing this media stuff, is. Mondays is going to be Medic Mondays. Um, this is where I probably have the most expertise, even more so than um, firearms. Um, you know, I'm, in, I'm ALS, Advanced Life Support, Advanced EMT certified. Um, I've worked in the inner city for years and have had plenty of experience doing a lot of gang-related shooting, stabbing, drug overdose, violence, that type of stuff. Um, so I really want to bring the stuff that I've seen to you guys um, and provide real practical training as well as have some fun. You know, we're going to be reacting to terrible, terribly, terribly written medical scenes in, in TV shows and movies. I'm going to have guests on the show from people that I trust in the department that I've personally seen them do crazy stuff where you're like, oh, I don't know if you should do that. And they do it and it works <laughs> out. And the person lives and you're like, hey, good job. Nervous laughter, you know, like. <laughs> hand them off to the doctor and you're like, oh yeah, we meant to do that. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're very professional. Um, but I want to bring guests on. I want to have some reactions. I want to I want to talk real medical training. Um, we're also going to be doing in-person classes here at the studio. Um, you can come see the dire set. You can come train with us um, and get proficient in medical training. So that's going to be Medic Mondays. It's going to be all um, heavily medical focused, but Easy enough to listen to where it's not super serious as to where if you're at work, you can put your headphones in, you know, have it up on your side monitor when you should be working in the morning. But you're, you, let's be real, you're just drinking your coffee and then you're going to go poop for 30 minutes and then you'll start working around 11. <laughs> That's how it goes. But we're going to provide you with that entertainment while, while you're doing that. Um, so that and then um, we're going to have, um, we're, the rest of the stuff is kind of, up in the air besides the can cannon show is going to be regular that's basically where we that'll be pre-recorded won't be live um but it'll be we're just going to blast stuff with our can cannon which i know you guys love because that's the highest engagement videos we get is just destruction us, of stuff destruction of stuff <laughs> like even better than like the cool tactical stuff like 
People just want to see like marbles launched through watermelon in slow motion for whatever reason. Which we haven't done that yet. So. We haven't done it yet, but that's going to happen. So um, we're going to do the Can Cannon show. We'd like to do a more political live stream. Um, we may even shy away from gun stuff completely and just talk about current events and world events. And um, most people watching this channel, if you're into guns, we're probably similarly like-minded people. Um, so that that's something that's a possibility. And then. Um, that will kind of leave like two days in the week for us to keep doing content packages and, and um, filming some of the high, higher quality stuff like the 4.6 video. Yeah, either for or us or for other people. Yeah, for us or other people. If we don't have anything booked, then we'll just film something for us. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of what our day-to-day -day looks like. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. Um, it takes a lot to do it. So everybody watching, um, it means a lot. Like. I, I feel like when I watch um, other YouTubers and I just, I kind of close the video and you see all the views and stuff like that, I kind of get the feeling that maybe they don't even look at that stuff. But um, like now that I'm doing it, I realize how important it is. Like when you, like I actually read your comments. I actually reply to all of your comments, you know, um, yeah. assuming it just doesn't get out of hand, you know, if there's. <laughs> Like well, on they want to have an argument with you for days on end. Like yeah, that's, that's good that, for engagement, but it's happened on TikTok before. Just let them have that engagement and yeah. then just delete it. Yeah. <laughs> well, after it gets like over ten thousand comments, I'm like, okay, <laughs> you guys, you guys hash it out. Um, but it, no, it still does mean a lot. It it doesn't it, like get in the comment section, engage with other people, comment on other people's comments, do do whatever. Like it it actually helps and it actually means a lot to us and is going to help us grow. Um, so please keep doing that. Please keep supporting the channel. Um, you can buy our merch. Uh, we actually don't make a lot of money on merchandise, but it is fun for me whenever I go see, whenever I get tagged on Instagram or Facebook and somebody's wearing the merch, just hanging out at home or grilling or whatever, like, I don't know, it makes me feel good. <laughs> I like seeing people wearing our designs um, and it kind of just shows your, shows your gun pride, you know? And you designed all of these. Yeah, I designed all. I yeah, I, like I don't like pay so somebody it, it to do these. Something. It does mean something. Like this is this was like my first design ever. We've had multiple big companies that we worked for try to buy this design from us. So the, the licensing for the design. The licensing so, yeah. for the design. We said no. Um, these are our designs. Um, so you can go over to Ballistic Inc. and buy some of this stuff. I've also got something in the works with um, a little bit. I don't want to say higher quality, but just a different type of quality, more athletic wear with our designs, which is going to be awesome. Um, we have our med kits for sale um, as well. That'll go hand in hand with Medic Mondays. Um, but honestly, the oh, and patches. We got patches. And patches. Patches but are even uh, like selling stuff is great. Like it, it yeah, it gets the brand name out there a yeah. little bit. Um, but engagement on the social media is probably more valuable to us right now. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Go there, buy patches. If you're a tactical guy, you, you probably have patches everywhere anyways, and our patches are probably cheaper than any other patch on the market. Like even 5.11 is selling theirs for like eight to $15. Our, our patches are five bucks um, because we're not a patch company. We're not a med right. kit company. They may be $8 later, but. They're, <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, you know, that's, that's, we're not a t-shirt company. Like we're not trying to just push t-shirts on you all the time. It's like, we like it when you guys go buy that stuff. We like the support, but at the same time, it's like, what we're doing here is 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 trying to um, create something that's a one-stop shop for the gun enthusiast um, in general. And we're well on our way. We are light years ahead of a lot of people that are trying to do this um, simply because we, we have each other and we have other resources available to us um, and it's been awesome. But. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on um, what Die Armory is and what the, what's the roadmap for, for the future of Die Armory, and um, that's basically it. So if you're looking to support us in the most immediate way, like and comment. Like every video that you see, share it. Do, do whatever you got to do, um, and then keep a lookout for those future projects we talked about, the store, the coffee shop, the shooting range, and all that good stuff. So, Cool. Cool. Anything you want to add? I got nothing. You got nothing? I got nothing. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you've made it this long in the video, you are a true fan, and we love you. Love you. See ya.